Caught on camera, a reported racist attack on a black man by a group of white men in Indiana. The incident is under investigation after the alleged victim posted video of it on Facebook. Now, I want to warn you, the attack is hard to watch. As CBS News correspondent Jerika Duncan reports, police are looking into the claim that the men threatened to, quote, string him up. Sean, let him go. I am not we're just trying to get out of here, guys. We're a relaxing evening with friends turned violent after five white men allegedly attacked Vox Booker, a black man, and penned him against a tree. Please let him go. We're going to as soon as you let him go. Booker, a civil rights activist in Bloomington, Indiana, said the men dragged him, beat him, and threatened to break his arms. And these men were on top of me asking for a noose. They literally said the term noose. They yelled, leave, leave, leave the boy with us. I wasn't even a man, I was a boy. You no one us. invaded you, you stupid okay. liberal Booker says the confrontation began when the men accused him and his friends of trespassing. The men allegedly started yelling white power among other racial slurs. What do you really want to call me? What Bloomington Mayor John Hamilton said he was horrified by the attack and acknowledges that racism still exists in his community. These are really painful times. It's a painful episode. On Monday, hundreds of protesters gathered around the Monroe County Courthouse to demand justice for Booker. But the peaceful demonstration ended in chaos. After a car rammed into two people, one woman was taken to the hospital. No charges have been filed yet. Meanwhile, Booker is waiting for charges to be filed against his alleged attackers and says he's grateful for those who stepped in to save him. I think the reason why I'm here today is because folks stopped being bystanders and they became active participants. And I hope that we continue to see that movement grow throughout our nation. Officers did respond after Booker says he called 911 Saturday, but because no one was arrested, now people are calling for those officers to be suspended because they didn't take immediate action. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, New York.